stuffed. Stuffed. We left around 8 a.m. this morning. So we've actually been on the road for over an hour now, which is hard to believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or I guess we left at like 8.10. So yeah, yeah. So it's like 9.10 right now. Yeah, so. so it's been about an hour. Yeah, we're getting to Atlanta right now. Fun stuff. Always a joy. I already have to pee, so. <laughs> so Nathan kindly offered to drive the first part of today's trip from Georgia to Nashville because he's really familiar with that route. Um, but today, this first day, we're headed to Kansas City. That's where our Airbnb is for tonight. So we have about a 12-hour drive today. Well, 11 and a half hours now. Um, <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and don't forget, we gain an hour each time we cross the time zone. So um, it actually says that we're supposed to arrive by 7.45 tonight, which is pretty good. But anyway, um, I will keep you guys updated on the rest of our trip. But so far, so good. Lots of traffic here. Lots of traffic. Pretty much as soon as we crossed into Tennessee, we just started hitting intermittent patches of traffic. Yeah, it was kind of strange. Yeah. Just. George, we, we even got past Atlanta pretty. Pretty quickly. Yeah, pretty yeah. quickly. But then we, we literally crossed the state line and it's been slow going. Yeah. There's that Nashville skyline. Looks hot. It does. All right, the terrain is changing. We are headed into flat farmland. It's flattening out. We are in Kentucky now. How does it feel? It feels good, honestly. <laughs> I, I. It's kind of nice to be out of those hills. It's, it is. Yeah, it kind of gave me a little, little, little burst. Yeah. A little burst of energy. I, I feel, I feel good to drive. Yeah. I mean, you, I guess you've been driving for, I guess. Six hours now. Yeah, six, a little over six. Close, coming up on six and a half. We're almost halfway through our journey for today. We'll probably switch out drivers soon. Yeah, so I guess once we get through this part of Kentucky, we basically, we go through like part of Illinois and then basically all the way across Missouri and then we're done for our drive today. So, not too bad. Then we're almost a third of the way there. <laughs> Almost the third. Then we got an even longer day tomorrow. Yeah, I think tomorrow is our longest day. So. But I feel like because we can just wake up and go, it's gonna feel. Yeah. It's just gonna feel like our job. For the yeah, day. yeah. It's like we just put our mind to it and get it done. Yeah. So. Then just one one more day after that. Woo! -hoo. Yeah. Woo! Tired enough. Um, we made it to our Airbnb in Kansas City. Um, I took a shower. <laughs> He's about to take I'm a shower. I'm about to take a shower, yeah. Um, yeah, we made it. First leg, done. Of three. One of three. Basically a third of the way there. Um, I mean, tomorrow's tomorrow's leg, I think, is the longest. Longer than today. By a couple hours, but... Yeah. We're just gonna call it a third of the way done. Hopefully, hopefully it'll just be a mostly straight drive, though. Yeah, I think it'll this be was, easier this than was today. A lot of, yeah, it's like metro and city. Yeah, we did Atlanta, Nashville, St. Louis, and Kansas City. Those are the four cities that we went through. Four big cities. Today. Yeah. So we like the, went through and, like Columbia. Oh. Kansas, I think, or Missouri, Missouri. Columbia, Missouri. Oh yeah, yeah that yeah, too. Yeah. yeah, it was basically a straight drive. All the way through the middle of Missouri. Yeah, from St. Louis to Kansas City. Yeah, mm -hmm. just right across the whole state. Which was honestly yeah, we were driving crazy into drive. the sun. Yeah, <laughs> the luckily there time. were some clouds that yeah. helped us out there, so we weren't just driving like straight into direct sun the whole time. But um, yeah, I drove like the second half of today, or you drove a little bit more than I did. 
Um, mm, but yeah. I did like the last five hours today. So that's why you didn't see any vlog footage of Missouri. <laughs> but you didn't really miss it. It looks like you'd expect. It looks exactly like you would expect Missouri to look. But I do have to say the drivers in Missouri were refreshingly the, the nicest better. <laughs> we've encountered so yes. far. Yeah. Anyway, um, I think we're going to call it a night. <laughs> but we'll resume our road trip vlog tomorrow. All right, sounds good. Nighty night. Nighty night. <laughs>
Yeah. Is that what you But mean? I'm saying halfway through the day will be halfway through the oh. show. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah, we're coming up on halfway through today. Yeah. We've only got about 96 more miles and then we're there. Yeah. To the halfway point. <laughs> You just, you gotta keep a positive mindset, you know? So far, I mean, you know, through these Midwestern states, it's pretty boring because it's so flat, but I would prefer this over, like, more densely populated areas where there's just constant traffic and people getting in your way. Yeah, yeah. You just gotta keep the steering wheel straight, so. Yeah. <laughs> That's... Yeah, for the most part, the roads have been pretty wide open except for a couple areas where we've gotten held up because there's only one lane open. I know, yeah, we've come across a lot of highway construction. Yeah. A lot of, everyone's doing, all the states are doing highway construction right now. Yeah. But yeah, there are several instances where we've had to go stretches for several miles of just one lane on the interstate. Yeah. This most recent one was the slowest. Someone Someone at the front was Still driving. Holding like, up the whole thing. Speed limit. Speed limit is eighty. Well, okay. The speed limit was sixty-five during that one lane. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. But any, like. But we, they were going like between fifty-five and sixty. Fifty-five and sixty. Time. Yeah, the but, whole time. But what gets us is like the when people go at inconsistent speed. Like just pick yeah. pick a speed. Yeah, you know? we'd speed up to like sixty-one and then drop back down to fifty. Yeah. And then just keep doing that for like ten miles, and that was oof. All right, we're over that now. Yeah, but thankfully, you know, most of the time there are two lanes open, and most, like, ever since we got into Missouri and all throughout these really flat states, people know how to use the left lane. Like, they will get out of your way if they see that you're behind them and you're going faster than them, they get out of your way. First windmills we've seen on this trip. Ah, I'm so excited! <laughs> The windmills! Oh, the windmills! Oh, they're here! So big. It's hard to capture, like, how. how yeah, they fast just keep. The, 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 the closer we drive, they just keep getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. So cool. They're spinning pretty fast right now, too. Yeah, I guess it's windy. You don't normally see them, like, going You don't so normally fast. see them this close up. Yeah. Like, dang, look at that. Yeah, that's awesome. How fun! Ah! <laughs> We're still in South Dakota. Probably will be for a while. We're actually coming up on Pierre now, which is the capital of South Dakota, in case you don't remember. Yeah, we couldn't. We couldn't, we couldn't remember. remember either. <laughs> um, but that the largest town in South Dakota is Sioux Falls, which we've already passed through. And we only have about eight hours left of our trip today. <laughs> we just got a full work day left. Yeah. We just stopped at a rest stop really quick and lost like no time. Yeah, it was, right it was a great highway. rest stop it too. Was great, it was really yeah. clean, really nice. Yeah, Nathan said that he wants me to take the last 400 miles. So. Which is about what we did yesterday. Yeah. I just drove a little longer today. Yeah. Uh, the the way that the car is packed um, doesn't leave him a whole lot of leg room here in the passenger seat. Yeah, so you could show, you show, yeah, show mine is, in the driver's seat right here. Now. I got. I got this is this is with extra room in the driver's seat and I'm I'm pressed up against the car here. Yeah. I'm really pressed up against this. Yeah, thing. poor thing yesterday his legs were like up here. It keeps my posture nice. <laughs> I'm really grateful for that. <laughs> but uh yeah, I I'm just driving until about four hundred miles because that was how long Sarah drove yesterday and um that was about as long as I could take in the passenger seat yeah. <laughs> with my legs bent up that way. Yeah. We did. Woohoo! And it's still a little bit light out, so we're yeah. going for a walk, go for stretching a walk. our legs. We're gonna go to the grocery store. Feels good. Our longest leg is done. Yeah, yeah. It it feels surreal, honestly. It's <laughs> only it's only felt tricky. surreal. I'm just gonna hold it down here so you can see our, both of our faces. Yeah, <laughs> just way up here. Yeah. So I drove for the last leg of the 
of the leg. The last leg of the second leg. <laughs> yes. Um, I guess I drove for about six hours. Yeah, you did. Totally. Did eight and six. Do you want to hold it? So sure. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> All right. How's that? Oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay. I'll be right in the top corner here. <laughs> we have a nice little park that we yeah right near our Airbnb. that we found. There it is. <laughs> Temperature is really nice. It feels like about seventy. Yeah, yeah, it's very it's nice. Very yeah, it's great. Loving Billings so far. Yeah, I haven't seen much. Good job, yet, good but... job, Billings. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for the warm welcome or the cool welcome rather. Yeah. Bright and early. Um, well, it's early. It's, it's not, not bright yet. <laughs> dark and early. Um, it is just after 5 a.m. Um, we've been on the road since about 4:15. It's pretty yeah, yeah. Almost an hour. Dang. So this is the last leg of our trip. It's hard to believe that later today we're going to be walking into our new apartment. It's even harder to believe that even later today we're going to be getting on a plane and going back to Georgia. So. That is true. <laughs> One step at a time. That's kind of silly. But yeah. yeah, yeah. let's get to our work. Yeah. So we woke up in Billings, Montana. We had a great stay at our Airbnb. We did, yes. Very cozy. Very cozy. Slept well. Um, yeah, it's been nice to sleep well. Both, yeah, both, both, nice. both, of our, both of our Airbnbs were very comfortable. Um, I, I could have showed you guys around our rooms, I guess. It was it was just like a room in someone's house, so I don't know if that would have been weird. But but yeah, Montana is beautiful. We had a lovely time in Billings. We had a decent amount of time last night to just kind of walk around, and then we went to dinner at this place called Wild Ginger, which was like an Asian fusion restaurant. It's really nice. Yeah. We sat outside in the little downtown area, and it was very quiet, very peaceful it was like well we were commenting on how it was kind of nice that there were people out and about there were even kids out you know playing at the park and stuff at like 8 45 p.m the sun wasn't down yet because the sun sets pretty late this far north it was nice that people were kind of out and about but it was also very quiet and like chill it had a nice vibe yeah yeah i liked it it was very relaxed yeah and it felt like kind of something you'd find in georgia but definitely not as relaxed. Yeah, it, it was like much more peaceful than yeah. anything we're used to on the East Coast, I feel like. Yeah, I just feel like there were kids of all ages, like kind of wandering around. There. Yeah, and it seemed very safe. Neighborhood very, area. Yeah. Um, we went into an Albertsons. I think that was my first time ever in uh, an Albertsons Same. store. Yeah. It was nice. It was kind of like a small Publix. Or like, well, like, yeah. sort of like Publix. Yeah. And then we went back to the Airbnb, took a shower, and crashed because we knew we had to get up at four in the morning so we were like <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get some sleep now and it was good we, we took a shower because we're not gonna take a shower yes. we're not gonna be able to take a shower we refused to take a shower for 48 <laughs> hours yes um no so 
to feel, I don't know if I've fully explained this yet to you guys, but basically the plan is today we arrive in Seattle. Right now our ETA is 3.30 p.m., which is amazing. That's amazing. Um, we, or we were aiming for 4.30, so with stops and everything, I think we should definitely make it in that amount of time or less. Um, we pick up the keys to our new place, unload the car, and then head to the airport. Um, our, we have a flight that leaves at 9.30 p.m. tonight. It arrives back in Atlanta at 5.30 a.m. <laughs> So, because you have the three-hour time difference. It's five tall a.m. That's <laughs> it's almost. It's not. It's coming up on five thirty right now. We're I know. Up. We're five. But we're five a.m. people. But now. this time tomorrow, we'll already be back in Georgia because it's eight thirty oh, there right now. Yeah. Oh wow. That's great. We yeah. We decided last night. I was saying we like. So once we're back in Georgia, we have about five days until we have to be out of our apartment. Because we have a few days between arriving back in Georgia and the time we have to be out of our apartment, we just decided we're gonna spend like the first day back, like all of Tuesday, just like not doing anything, like just recovering from this trip because this has been obviously a gigantic drive that we've taken over the course of three days. So like, and we're gonna be a little sleep deprived from taking a red eye flight. Well, so, also today. <laughs> and also from driving, getting up at 4 a.m. today. So, um, yeah, we're just going to like... And we've gotten up pretty early to leave the past two days before that. That's true. But yeah, I'm looking forward to just taking a day to like relax, not worry about any of the moving responsibilities because we're going to have time for that. But it's best that we just like rest for a day so that then we can do what we need to do. Nice. I'm not even. I'm not even thinking about that, or I'm not even anticipating that yet. It's, yeah, I, I, we have I to get there wanna, first. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I can't believe we're gonna be there today. It's just nutty. Yeah. Nutty. Okay, but check out this view, you guys. Like the Pacific Northwest. Look at all those trees. Hello. We are still somewhere in Montana. We stopped at a coffee shop called the Old Speckled Hen. I believe it was called in Whitehall, Montana. Uh, we were waiting until we found some sort of coffee shop. And this one actually, it was like a tiny, well, that's not, it was like a tiny little house looking thing with a drive through window. So we just drove right through, got ourselves some iced lattes. They're really good. Probably the, definitely the best coffee we've had on this trip. Cause oh, yeah. other than this, we've only had Dunkin' on this trip. So some of the best coffee I've had in This is months. fantastic. They had all of the non-dairy milks except hemp. That was the only one they didn't have, which we don't even care. She was like, yeah, we, the only one we don't have is hemp. So <laughs> like, thanks. We'll take oat milk like usual. Okay. But yeah, it's great. And we also got a combination of almond and coconut syrups. That's been our go-to lately. Yeah. At Duncan, the the unsweetened ones. And it's a pretty good combo. This is way better than Duncan though. Yeah, it almost tastes like something else other than coconut or almond. Yeah, it gives it kind of it's almost caramely, but not. Yeah, yeah. I guess I coconut guess it, and almond, it's kind of like a Mounds bar. I was going to say, with the coffee chocolatey, yeah. it's almost <laughs> like a Mounds bar, yeah. Ugh, this drive is so pretty. It really is pretty. I've been driving for three hours, three hours now. now. <laughs> it's been enjoyable. I, yeah. don't, I don't feel, you know, tired out yet. 
I yeah. mean, I am tired. Yeah, we did wake up early. But yeah, I mean, it's so scenic. I did fall asleep for a little while. It was great. Um, but I feel very refreshed now. This drive is by far the prettiest of this whole trip. Yeah. So yeah. that's going to make today a lot more fun also. Just the fact that it's so... It just so keeps getting nicer, too. It really does. And it keeps changing, so it's exciting to see, like, what's Oh, yeah, next? yeah, yeah. I really like that, too. It started out with not a lot of trees at all, just very hilly. And then now there's a ton of trees everywhere. But just a little while ago, there were lots of rocks, like a whole hillside that just was made up of giant boulders. Yeah, it was really rocky. And yeah. Before that, we had some valleys and stuff that we yeah. were driving through or around. And there were even some like snow covered mountains at one point. Yeah, yeah, we saw some mountains. Which I, I think we, I took some shots of that, so I saw that. Yeah, this is fun. This is going to be a good trip. apartment yay um we're very tired <laughs> very tired yeah it's also really hot in seattle today but it's like the hottest day it's been all year and it's not going to be this hot again for a while a while if so ever, it's yes. kind of a weird day yeah. but uh, we unloaded the car oh, and yeah. went to the grocery store to get a couple of apartment things like toilet paper hand soap and now in a little while we have to go to the airport and get on a plane yeah. so <laughs> gotta scrunch our legs up for an uber ride to the airport scrunch yes. our legs up for the airplane ride <laughs> yeah it's gonna be a long night but, but we're done with our like we just have to sit now so that's way easier than yeah. sitting and holding a steering wheel <laughs> yes we don't have to think about it yeah so. we don't have to worry about our <laughs> our lives are in other people's hands now yeah <laughs> The hardest part of our move is over. It is, yeah. Yeah, that's the what we were, we were talking about that a little earlier, that just like, now that now that we're done with this, I mean, it's, it's we're here. Yeah. We're here. It's real. I have my carrot juice. Yeah, he's drinking a whole... I, I used to do this a lot more frequently, but I haven't done it in a while, but I used to, it was... <laughs> we got here and we were so thirsty. Horrible, yeah. I got fancy artesian water. It was actually the cheapest one at, at QFC, so... How it's, is it? It's good. Is it um, everything you hoped it would be? Yeah. It's cold and refreshing, which is all I could really ask for. So. Fantastic. This is great, too. This is what I always get, the Bolt House Farm carrot juice. I will take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> I will not be trying it. Excited to show you guys the apartment once we start getting it set up. It's great, though. Yeah, we it's, love it. It's perfect. Um, yeah, it's everything we expected honestly i mean it is yeah technically yeah. we hadn't seen i mean we hadn't seen this unit yet but um like i said previously i used to live in this building yeah. so i pretty much knew what we were getting into and it's perfect, it's perfect. we love it yes yeah. yeah clean um if you can hear road noise the windows are open yeah we have all the windows open we can have the power on yet well oh, um, we do we do have the power oh we do there's just no ac is that a separate Oh, there's no AC. Oh, in, in right. Building. Oh, right. Okay. Buildings. We yeah. just don't have an AC. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, right. Yeah. That's Windows why it's hot. Kind of have to be open. Gotcha. So we don't suffocate. Well, this hasn't been that. It really hasn't terrible. been bad. Yeah. 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 I'm really excited to start editing this vlog because I feel like it's going to be really fun to look back on our road trip. Yeah, we had definitely. a lot of fun on our road trip. It well, went really well. Like no, no complaints. No all. complaints. Not it a went. One. It went super smoothly. Um, we didn't really have any hiccups, mm -hmm. just, you know, your standard traffic uh, frustration, but yeah. 
once we're moving. The, both of the Airbnbs we stayed at were great. We had a great time. Yeah, yeah, they were both really nice. The people, were, yeah, they were. We slept great. Mm -hmm. The people were super nice. Um, the area, uh, especially the area in Billings, was. Yeah, we Billings was really cute. I yeah. think we talked about that earlier. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> we really liked. That Billings. seems like a long time ago that we. Told it does. You guys about that. Yeah, that was just earlier this morning. <laughs> we were. Yeah, it was. Wow, it was earlier this morning. Oh my gosh. And so we, it was so yesterday we were talking about how crazy it was. Think about the fact that we were in Georgia a day prior when yeah. we were in Billings, yeah. Montana. Yeah. Yeah. But like last night we went to sleep in Billings, Montana, but just the day before we were in Georgia. With our kitties. I miss them. I miss them too. Our, my parents have been sending us pictures of them. And yeah. I can't wait to see them. We get to see them in less than 24 hours. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to get ready for our flight now, but thank you so much for watching this vlog. We had so much fun filming it, and can't wait to film the next one. So we'll talk to you soon.